Discover the youngest country in the world, where you can even walk around without clothes. Montenegro is located in Europe, on the Balkan Peninsula, sharing a common past with other nations such as Bosnia, Croatia, Slovenia, Macedonia, and Serbia. Following the disintegration of Yugoslavia and the subsequent independence of these nations, Montenegro joined Serbia to form a single country. However, it achieved its independence in May 2006 through a referendum, becoming the youngest country on the planet. Throughout its history, it experienced moments of autonomy from the Ottoman Empire in the Balkans. However, its independence was officially recognized by the Treaty of Berlin of 1878, which also granted independence to Bulgaria, Romania, and Serbia. In 1910, Prince Nicholas proclaimed himself king, but the Kingdom of Montenegro only lasted eight years. After the end of the First World War in 1918, Montenegro was absorbed into the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes, which later in 1929 became the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. During World War II, guerrillas led by Marshal Tito found refuge in the mountains of Montenegro. After the liberation of the Nazis in the region in 1944, Montenegro became one of the six republics that formed the Socialist Republic of Yugoslavia. In the early 1990s, Yugoslavia disintegrated with the declaration of independence of four republics, while Serbia and Montenegro maintained a new federation with Serbian predominance. In 1992, a referendum favored union with Serbia, although in unequal voting conditions. Beginning in 1996, the Montenegrin government, led by Milo Dukanovic, began a policy of independence from Serbia, adopting the German mark, and later the euro as the official currency. The Montenegrin government began to promote an independence policy. Although the referendum on independence was postponed in 2003, a new cooperation agreement was signed between Serbia and Montenegro, and with the support of the European Union, Yugoslavia was officially dissolved to make way for Serbia and Montenegro, with the intention of holding a referendum on independence in 2006. The independence of Montenegro was finally achieved in May 2006 through a referendum, in which 55% of the votes decided to separate from Serbia, making Montenegro the youngest country in the world. A curious sporting event took place during the 2006 Soccer World Cup held in Germany. Montenegro and Serbia had separated only a month earlier, but due to the dates of the matches, they competed as a single team since the team would cease to exist once the World Cup ended. The federations of both nations separated soccer teams for future competitions, and each country represented itself with its own name and crest. Geographically, Montenegro is bordered by Bosnia to the west-northwest, Croatia to the southwest, Serbia to the north and northeast, and Albania to the east and southeast. Although it shares cultural similarities with Serbia, Montenegro has always had an autonomous political aspiration, widely supported by the majority of its population. This search for political autonomy could bring the country closer to the European Union. This small country has an area of 14,000 square kilometers, a population of just 650,000 inhabitants and a Christian majority, although there are also Muslims. Although not yet a member of the European Union, Montenegro uses the euro as its official currency. Let us now look at the current economic situation in Montenegro. This country, which went through a complicated process of separation from the former Yugoslavia, Currently, it depends a lot on foreign resources. Domestic production is scarce, forcing Montenegro to import a wide variety of products from neighboring countries and various regions of Europe. If for some reason, Europe turned its back on Montenegro, the country could face serious economic problems, which is why the presence of foreign investors plays a crucial role in the Montenegrin economy. So far, the country earns most of its income from tourism and foreign companies, but the banking sector still lags behind many other countries. Digital banking services are not as advanced, and even the simplest banking transactions often require a visit to a physical bank branch. In the Transparency Index, which measures the level of corruption in each country, Montenegro is tied with Cuba and China in 65th place out of 180 countries. This means that the higher the score, the less corrupt the country is. In this case, Denmark ranks first as the least corrupt country in the world in tax matters. The tax burden in Montenegro includes a personal and corporate income tax rate, ranging between 9% and 15%. The VAT values are also different, for example, 7% for services related to the tourism sector and basic necessities, 21% for goods and services. Montenegro also applies a flat tax of 15% on virtually all types of income. For salaries less than 700 a month, there is no income tax. Between 700 and 1,000 a month, the tax is 9%, and above that figure, a tax of 15%. Let's talk about the cost of living. 
the average cost of renting a standard apartment in Montenegro usually ranges from 350 to 700. It is important to keep in mind that the amount you will pay for rent may vary depending on several factors, such as the location of the home, whether it is furnished, and whether the objects inside are new or old. For example, let's say you manage to find a standard apartment in Montenegro for 400. The cost of electricity for a family of two or three members is around 50 on average. An advantage is that the tap water in Montenegro is drinkable, which means you don't have to buy bottled water. The average cost of high-speed internet and fiber optics does not exceed 20. You also have additional expenses, such as rent and environmental tax, that add up to a maximum of 15. When it comes to food for two or three people, you should be prepared to spend at least 300 a month. Finally, the current minimum wage in the country is 530. Although this figure is relatively low compared to other European countries, it is important to remember that the cost of living in Montenegro is generally lower than in most other European countries. The public health care system in Montenegro does not reach the highest levels, but it is not considered bad either. If you are a manager or employee of a company, you can access it at no additional cost. There's also the option of using the private health care system, which offers a wide variety of private doctors and is usually quite affordable. A relevant detail about Montenegro, which I don't know if you know, is that they allow you great freedom on the beaches when sightseeing. That is to say, when you visit the normal beaches of Montenegro and enjoy the sun on any of them, it is common to see people around you sunbathing naked without shame. People walk naked on the beaches and bathe in the sea naked too, without any problems. Interestingly, thanks to the abundance of welfare in the country, crime rates are remarkably low. You can walk alone through the streets of Montenegro at 2 in the morning without fear of scares or robberies. In addition, the country lacks hustle and bustle, which means there are no traffic jams, so no time is wasted in traffic jams. Given the tiny size of the country, there are not many cars on the streets, and finding parking is not a problem. You don't have to endure two-day bus trips to cross the country from end to end. You can reach any part of Montenegro in a matter of hours. Regarding language, the official language of Montenegro is Montenegrin, However, if you are familiar with Serbian, Bosnian, Albanian, or Croatian, you can live comfortably in this country using these languages, as they all have roots in the common culture of the past. It is important to note that English is not included in this list, which may be surprising and disappointing to some visitors. Most of the country's inhabitants have limited English proficiency, which is especially evident in government institutions where communicating in English can be difficult. Regarding religion, the population of Montenegro has a strong connection with religious beliefs, and when walking through the streets and alleys of this country, it is common to see churches in abundance. Despite the presence of Muslims, the nation is primarily inhabited by Orthodox Christians, making this group the majority, although Muslims form the largest minority group. The average age of the Montenegrin population is around 30 years old, which characterizes the country as young in demographic terms. The average life expectancy in the country is 73 years for men and 78 years for women, exceeding the world average of 68 years. It is important to note that Montenegrin society tends to be conservative when it comes to homosexuality. Therefore, LGBTQ visitors should be aware of reactions, especially in public settings, and be aware of the country's prevailing attitude toward this issue. They are also not in favor of drinking excessively, as they consider it a matter of pride and do not appreciate people who overconsume alcoholic beverages. In other words, those from nations like Lithuania and Ireland may find it difficult to adapt to this country's stance on alcohol. Montenegro is a very interesting country for those who want to live in Europe, but without having to pay the numerous taxes that are paid in other European countries. It is also a good option for digital nomads and perpetual tourists in general, as the costs are low and it is easy to avoid becoming a tax resident. Montenegro, with its rich cultural and demographic diversity, presents a balanced population between men and women. The percentage of women and men is approximately equal, contributing to a society where both genders play significant roles. Physically, Montenegrin women tend to reflect the region's varied ethnic mix, with beauty ranging from Mediterranean features to Slavic influences. Personality-wise, many women in Montenegro are known for their hospitality and warmth, which makes connecting with them a friendly experience. For those looking to make connections and flirt in Montenegro, it is essential to approach interactions with respect and consideration. Montenegrin culture values authenticity and honesty, so being genuine in conversations is key. Additionally, showing interest in the country's rich history and traditions can be a meaningful point of connection. 
Outdoor activities, so popular in Montenegro, offer ideal opportunities for informal and relaxed gatherings. Ultimately, the key lies in appreciating and respecting cultural diversity while making meaningful connections with Montenegrin women. I would like to know if you have ever been or planned to visit this small country. Leave us your opinion below in the comments. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video, passionate travelers.